I'm going to make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children were in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below. And um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. It's time for the 25th anniversary Civ Extravaganza. Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, this year, as you guys know, Civ 6 is coming out. I'm super excited about Civ 6. But besides, in addition to that, um, there's uh, it's the 25th anniversary of Civ. And so I decided I'm going to play Civ 3 through 6 uh, between now and when Civ 6 comes out. So let's start with Civ 3. Um, this is a game that that I played um, all through college. There we go. That looks nice. Um, that I played all through college. And uh, just every single minute I had, I was playing this game. And uh, although I had to <laughs> go and refresh my memory on what the rules are because it's been such a long time and they changed so much. Um, so I kind of looked up how the things go and I gave myself a little build order and stuff like that to start with. So I'm going to go with standard roaming barbarians, continents, a normal climate, temperate, that's fine, all that stuff's fine. Alright, I'm going to play the Chinese throughout all of these games. So. Um, he's uh, militaristic and industrious, so workers complete tasks faster, and the center city square of all cities produces extra shields, which is awesome. Uh, cities and metros, which is when they get bigger, and militaristic, so military improvements are better. So I'm gonna, so this is my dude, Chairman Mao. He's got this cool-looking hat. Um, I'm not gonna allow wonder victories, but I'll allow all the other types of victories. Um, I'm not going to respawn AI players, and I'll leave it on easy since I've played this in forever, and normal AI aggression, everybody random. Let's do it. Wow, I wish Civ 4 would start this fast. <coughs> it is the year 4000 BC. Your ancestors were nomads. But over the generations, your people have learned the secrets of farming, road building, and irrigation. And they're ready to settle down. That's cool. So we don't have to discover the wheel to discover um, to discover uh, roads. Your people of Mistress and Industrious have mastered warrior code and masonry. That's awesome. That's a great start. Um, absolute power in you, trusting you can build a civilization to stand the test of time. So I'm going to do about 15 minutes of gameplay today. Let us build this city. Wow, this... This GUI is so, it's so funny how it looks compared to, all right, so I'm going to build a warrior to start with. So um, when I was looking, oh, and I can start with a worker, that's awesome. So when I was looking online, um, all right, so here's um, a uh, caricature of Sid Meier. What's the big picture? All right, so so I think, if I remember correctly, we can't just go do 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 do. We have to finish the ancient times before we can go forward. So what I want to go for is pottery first. Uh, pottery, so we can have granaries and not lose um, f food every time we build a uh, every time we grow. Uh, let's irrigate. So I remember these graphics seeming so incredible when the game first came out. All right, so we've got irrigation there on the grassland. What is this supposed to be over here? Uh, uh, let's get over here and build a mine so we can have more shields. So we've got our first warrior. So I'm going to cross that off my list. I'm going to do in a row. Uh, yeah, so I was saying before that I had read online that if, um, oh yeah, and cities don't have Bombard in Civ 3, so I gotta save a guy in the city. 
um, if I um, send a worker and find, I mean, a, a, a warrior and find <laughs> um, an enemy right away, I have a 60% chance of destroying their their city and taking over. So I'm going to go for that. So I've got an archer, which I don't think is what I told it to build. Uh, end up with an archer instead of a warrior. Alright, so I've got an archer. So I'll take that as that warrior slot there. So let's do one more warrior. Alright. Um, then we've already got a worker, so I'll do two more warriors, a settler. And then I would have done the granary. So I'm going to wait there until I have the ability to have granaries. Alright, so this archer... They have bombard in this. I don't think they have bombardment in archers are bombardments in um, Civ 3. So I'm going to use them to do some exploration. Get an idea of what's going on around here. Alright, let's build a road. Ooh, a goody hut. Goody huts are awesome. Okay. Now let's go to this hill over here. So now I've got two shields, thanks to my mine. I've got ceremonial burial. Alright, so now I've got pottery. So, yeah, sure, we'll do bronze working, why not? Basically, what we want to do is get to the Middle Ages as quickly as we can, because our special unit replaces um, knigets, kind <laughs> of replaces knights. Alright, so the most powerful. I am second. That's good. So don't find the Incans because they're more as powerful or more powerful. All right. So I've got another archer. I'm going to send him off in this direction. So it looks like to the south, I'm protected from bad guys um, until someone settles there. All right. I've got a warrior. Right. So in my city, um, let's add in the granary. I want another settler, and then let's do a worker at that point. So I'm going to kind of bounce between settlers and workers for a little bit, and then um, temple should be worth it, and then let's do another settler, and that finishes up my queue. Alright, so I'm going to send him in the same direction, since we can stack units in this game. We can have stacks of doom and everything. So a lot of marshes here. It's funny, I, this was the first Civ where they kind of animated the, the units, and I remember being so impressed with how they looked. Alright, I'm going to send this guy to the east. So again, taking a high risk by having all these units and stuff. Um, interestingly, they, so unlike the other Civs, I'm not covering up how much I'm making or anything right now. That information is not like visible right up there. I have to go to one of my advisors or something. Let's see, domestic. So right now, I'm basically earning one gold. I'm 50% uh, towards science. And I've got 92 gold in my treasury. Okay. At least I don't have to worry until people start settling. I don't have to worry about anyone below me, which is good. Some giant bananas growing there. Ah, here's a bad guy. Let's head in that direction. If it's not the Incans, we will uh, see what we can do. Let's go up this way. Maybe I'll be able to conquer my first city. Oh, it's the English. The British. They offer alphabets. I give them masonry. Sure, because I'm probably about to kill you anyway. Peace. Alright. Let's come outside of her borders. Alright. So, I've got one more hill over there to increase my um, my shield production. 
It's funny, they go between shields and hammers and stuff like that. I don't think they're ever 100% consistent. Okay, if she doesn't notice people at her borders, she will very soon. I've got my first settler. Alright, just a quick note for myself. I'm getting close to probably where I want to end for today. We'll see. But I'm gonna so Beijing is gonna be one of my settler worker cities. My next city is gonna be a military city. Now when I used to play this game before, like I said back in college, um I used to for the most part not do any specialization. All right, so for military, let's go here because we're going to have all these um, hills to provide lots of extra shields. And, hmm, let's see, hold on. If we go, well, do they provide food as well? One food. Grassland is two foods. Shield is one food and two. Yeah, I think this is a good place. It'll be hard to grow at first, I think. Mm, is there somewhere that's more of a more of a compromise? Hills, but also lots of grassland. Hmm. Does anybody else have a turn? Alright, let's wait, wait. Jungle is one food and zero shields. One food. One food. Alright, F it. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I forgot they could stack in this game. I was trying to get them out of the way so they wouldn't be stacked. Alright, I'm going to declare war next turn, I think. Let's just found this city first. Shanghai. Alright, Shanghai. Let's do a warrior, followed by barracks. So you are my war and naval guy. So let's do... Let's do uh, Krog, Warrior, Archer, Krog, Warrior, Archer, and... We'll do a Granary at the end because that'll help you because you're not going to grow as easily over here. Yep, Brown's working is fine. Oh, let's do the wheel? Sure, why not? Alright, let's do our first save. Hello, London. Can I talk to you, London? Um, let's see. Advisors, civic media, main menu. Not sure how to talk to London. I guess I'm just going to attack London. Ah, here you go. That's it. Prepare for war. You're right, they are scum. And that's my worker now. Um, you will come work the mines over there, because I'm a evil bastard like that. So I don't have to worry about but city bombardments, which is nice. I do have to worry about that guy he's got in there, but that's pretty much it. So I should be able to take this city pretty easily compared to if it was Civ Five. Oh, he's got a uh, one of these spearmen in here, huh? So unlike Civ 5, I don't get told ahead of time if I'm going to win or whatever. But I do have a lot of people here. Let's see. Nice. Killed the spearmen. Look at that. Didn't expect that to happen. So 
So he had a few people in there. It's not as nice as I thought it was going to be, but okay. Alright, let's see. I'm going to... How many people do you have here? Come on, don't lose, don't lose. Dang, he's got a lot of people in there. Darn. Not as prepared for this battle as I thought I was. Let's escape for now. Uh oh, he's in trouble. I'm pretty advanced, but not, not at the bottom, not at the top. Alright, let's see if he heals right outside of their territory. Surprised they didn't try to attack me, but that's okay. Yes, he does heal. Excellent. Let's fortify here. Alright. I'm gonna do... Can I do a road to... Maybe not. Maybe they didn't add that in this game. That's okay. Fortify. So basically, I got to him a little too late, I guess. Oops. That's how that works. Okay. That's fine. And... Worker. Settler. Worker. Settler. Alright. Is this an extra dude? No, that's the dude that's protecting me. Settler here. Let's see. We've got deer over here. Let's see. I want this to be a wonder city, so let's uh, make sure we're near some hills. Deserts have zero food. Go up here. Hmm, that's weird. My guy was fortified, and they're both archers. I mean, um, warriors. What is this guy, some kind of super warrior? What the F? That's messed up. Alright, dude. Come back home. Oh my god, this dude's just decimating my military. Yeah. Alright, come back home. Are right, you explore? Ah, oh, what? I forgot there were vandal raiding parties. <coughs> is that what this mother is? He's a vandal. Alright, well, protect the uh, worker. Nice music.
no more vandals. Nice. I forgot about that. Alright, come up here to meet the uh, settler. This is great music. I forgot how good the music was in this game. Sure, we'll peace treat you for now. Peace. That's what the urban encampments look like in this game, I see. Alright. I think this is the last game where you've got a palace. here maybe explore road gate that should help the citizens of Shanghai Oh, here's my information stuff. Huh. Gold and all that stuff. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Let's go up this way to build a road. Alright, 
let's do another mine over here. Looks like I found somebody else up here. Probably the Americans, because they're usually dark blue. Could be the French also, they're typically dark blue. Oh, it's the Mayans. Misty's in the alphabet, sure. Please. Alright, Settler. Let's see. Haven't done as much exploring as I should have. Um, let's go up this way. and settlers from that city. I'm going to skip that one and make another military city because they have more of a chance to grow over here. Let's send this guy up to take care of them. Looks like there's a lot of people around me so I might have to focus on conquest if I want room to expand. Where's the time fly? It's almost been half an hour already. <coughs> Alright, let's go this way to build roads towards a new city. And let's send one warrior to protect them. Worker, worker bee. there. I may lose that guy. Yep. Kill him for some gold, I guess. Let's see, so we got another worker here. Let's see. Let's build a road. Alright. I think we are good on boats. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Colossus 
Gives you extra commerce. Okay, the Oracle. The, okay, so we don't need that. Um, Alright, let's just have walls to be on the safe side. After that, let's go Archer for now. I guess I'm missing like the iron or whatever that I could use for better units. Let's do two archers and chill for a minute. There's some iron, so I gotta get out there. And some horses. Alright, definitely gotta get out there with a the settler. Okay. I'm gonna stop very soon. Ooh. Freaking Polynesians. Not 100% sure if I lost that fight or not, but I guess I'll figure it out soon enough. Yep, I survived. Let's wait to heal. Let's see what's going on over here. Safely. Cool, Chichen Itza. I've been. Uh, well, I haven't been there, but I've been to uh, some nearby places. A goody hut that they left. Nice. Now we can read. Oh yeah, I think I need to bring him into a city to heal. Forgot about that. So do I have a way to get there? I do have a way to get there. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, I can walk in this territory, yep. I forget when. We can't do that. Maybe it's not even in this game. Where those restrictions lie. Ah, that's what happens instead. Nice uh, Hulk reference. Hmm. Alright, so she's got some spearmen. Oh yeah, because I was like, I'm good on settlers for now, which I think is pretty true at the moment. I don't really have anywhere to expand to.
looks like someone's gonna try and come settle in my territory or something. is going to settle here under me, which is kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? Alright, let's... Oh, he built right freaking right here. What a jerk. I'm going to have to get rid of him, too. in the middle of my territory, freaking jerk. Then you freaking yell at me for it. What a jerk.
let's work on Nottingham first. Good. Got a horseman now. Excellent. Alright. Let's build a road over here to get ready. No more exploring to be done, so come back home. If you can. I guess they can't. I will uh, disband them then. <laughs> Sunk the freaking boat. Alright. Okay. Civ 3, you can still go on mountains. Alright. Let's work some bananas here. Spirit. Good. And then and finish for today. Alright. Huh, why is Shanghai building the Oracle? They're not supposed to do that. in case I need it. Then we'll stop with that city. Shanghai. No, you should be making horsemen. Horsemen all the way. Horsemen everywhere. Horsemen every day. You can do the pyramids. We don't need the Karag anymore. Let's do horsemen, horsemen, horsemen. At least apparently we can't use up horses like in uh, Civ 5, maybe even Civ 4. Um, did I go through all my cities? The pyramids? Really? I think I did. Okay, cool. Nice, our Karak is a veteran. Alright. Oh, I can clear the way. Sing Tao. 
then we're gonna horseman the crap out of this place. Alright, no more exploring to be done, huh? Alright, that's fine. Just come here. So apparently her territory has expanded somewhere. Oh, she freaking built something right here, didn't she? Well, shoot, this person is just upsetting me. Alright, Hastings. Well, no. I still have to get to Singtao. Let's kill Nottingham first. in that position. I wasn't paying attention to that crap. Alright. You get on this side. This side. This side. You can stay there. How dare you attack me on a mountain? Don't you know mountains have the best defense? And I've got a bazillion horsemen coming, I guess. Oh, maybe because I queued them up before I... No, because they've switched to spearmen now, I think. Yeah. Gotta get my horses back. Gotta take Nottingham. No ifs, ands, or buts. Oops, no, you, you, no, you haven't already moved, take near it. How the heck 
Do I have civil disorder? Oh, because I still have war or some sh sh snakies like that. Alright, let's try and weaken this guy first. his own unit if I'm still fighting against him. Pretty powerful though. I will continue my war then. civil disorder. Who knows? Maybe it'll go away soon. Okay, let's save. And that's it. I'm Eric. This has been Civ 3 as part of the 25th anniversary Civ extravaganza. I'll see you next time. Bye. For watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. I also enjoy comments, so feel free to leave one below. I have a pretty eclectic channel, so here on the right you'll see a selection of other videos you might enjoy.